Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I have another request, and this one was by Pam Miller. She wanted me to do some metallic Sharpie nails. Well, I got to digging through my stuff, and I didn't have any metallic Sharpies. So, but I do have these metallic pens, and these are from Right Dudes. I got them in all sorts of colors, and um, I got them at Walmart. So, there you have that. There's, I don't know, several colors, like eight of them. So, what I've done is I've started off with a base coat, and then I've used this Bitsy Flawless as my base color. I put on a coat of fast dry top coat and dried them down and then I used I used posh too by the way and then I used this little sample that I got from glitter days it's a matte top coat so I have mattified these to you know get them to be easier to draw on and what I'm going to do attempt to do is um, kind of like you know slap some of these colors on my nails I don't know if I'm gonna use all of them or just some of them I might just use some and uh, then I'm going to spritz them with some 91% alcohol and we're just gonna play and see how that goes so I'm gonna get me a paper towel out because I have a feeling it's gonna be messy which is why I have on some liquid latex around my digits so we're going to get everything together and we're gonna get to playing with this one Okay, I've decided to start off with these four colors. A blue, a kind of rose, a silver, and a purple looking color. And I'm just going to just get to play and you know, just uh, kind of dabbing some of these colors on all willy-nilly. Um, I would imagine that the metallic Sharpies would, would work similar. I don't know because I don't have any. I will have to see about getting some. Get me some metallic Sharpies because I do believe I need them. I want to try them in that, uh, using them for the stamping. So there we go. I've just kind of dabbed some of the blue in and now let's go in with the rose color. How about I dial y'all in a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. If it's going to act right. A little blurry. Let's see. There we go. I think that might work. So, I have no rhyme or reason with this. I did not sample this on a nail tip or a pop stick or anything. I just jumping right in there because, you know, I don't really have a whole lot of time for that um, making samples or, or, or whatever. Just, you know, I just don't have a lot of time for that. I just have to jump in and play and hope that it works, that it sticks or does well. Okay. Oh, let's so get that one that one done. And now I'm gonna go in with the purple. And I am just uh, eventually hoping that a lot of the nail is covered in these colors. I don't um like I said I didn't I didn't do any practicing so I'm just winging it which is how a lot of my manicures are which is why they don't always turn out like I uh, hope <laughs> but you know I'm always pretty happy with them whether they're like I saw it in my head or not so there we go with the purple and when I put these on the end I'm not going to put this one on the end I'm going to throw it to the side um, when, I, when I do these I just you know winging it hoping that the final deal will be like I or something that I like it rarely turns out like exactly like I saw it in my head anyway so yeah, it's just fun and it's just been polish if I don't really really like it I can do something else or I can slap some fairy dust or northern lights or something on it and managed to live through a couple of days but for the most part I do wear my manis. It's very rare that I um, do something and then immediately take it off. It has happened but not not too awful much. Okay so there oh I'm sticking together. So there we have like my hodgepodge and that's actually pretty cool looking all on its own. Uh, I'm kind of kind of liking that. 
So we're going to get our little spray bottle of 91% alcohol. And we're just going to see what this will do. Well, it's not running. It's not spreading. I don't really know that it's doing much. And since it's just alcohol, I can go a little crazy with it. Okay, it is starting to break it up some. Do you see that? Like right here, I can see it. It's kind of breaking it up. So what we're going to do is um, I'm going to let this dry. <laughs> oh, we're going to have to get that latex off because it's trying to jump on out there. So be careful if you do this. Don't don't do as me. Don't don't do it like that. The alcohol just totally made that latex pull up. So let's go and get that off of there. I didn't make the mess that I thought it would. A lot of times when I play with sharpies, I end up with stained fingers for for days and days. So there we go. I'm gonna let this dry and do its thing, and then we're gonna come back and check it out and see what we want to do next. Okay, I am back there dry, and that's pretty funky and cool all on its own. Now, this is, of course, the matte version, so I'm going to put some glossy top coat on it and see what we think about that. So, let's grab some posh top coat, and I'm going to dial you guys down so that you can hopefully see better what I'm getting, the results I'm getting. And if we don't like it glossy, then we'll go back to matte. Got some lifting going on there. All right, so let's do some top coat. You guys know I'm a glossy girl. I like my glossiness, but sometimes I really do like matte versions of things. I really love matte on other people. Um, but... I just, I don't, I don't, I just always go glossy. We have made a mess. Where is Woody? We need Woody. Woody to the rescue. Okay, here we go. And this is one that I'm kind of on the fence on. I don't, I think I might like it better matte. It just, you just never know with me. So, I'll put this on, let it dry, and see what we think. And I will pick up some sh metallic Sharpie markers so that I can do the real request. But I'm making do with what I have, you know, you know how we do. So there we go with the glossy version. Kind of confetti looking nails. So, all right. So I'm going to let this dry and um, we'll be back to decide whether we want to mattify it or not. Okay, I am back. <clears throat> They are dry, they're glossy, and I like them like this, but I really do think that, <clears throat> excuse me, for this manicure, I believe I like the matte version better. So, I'm going to have swatch photos at the end of glossy and matte, and you can tell me down in the comments which one you liked better. And that is it for today. That's it. That's all. That's all I got. So, until next time. Be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.